Okay, we'll head on inside to 25 Bridget Lane. We've got a beautiful front porch here. Overlooks the whole front area. But nice, peaceful, quiet. Got the rocking chairs, it's elevated on the first level to be out of the flood zone, so you don't have to. Well, you have to get flood insurance, but it's like, uh, it's on stilts, so you're not gonna have a whole lot of problems. Got the beautiful wood doors. This is a shabby chic cottage, and it's about three years old. It says 2020, so I would say that started being built in 2019. You can see the reclaimed flooring when you come in. You have a little foyer entryway, stairs to the left, kitchen straight ahead. And over to the left is a powder room in the first door on the right, and then a utility room at the end there. Stairs going up to two bedrooms and a lot of attic storage space. And you've got your kitchen straight ahead with a little breakfast area overlooking and dining area overlooking the view in the back and the back porch. To the right, it's a little walkway over to the living room. Give you a little sneak preview of that. You can see the plantation shutters. You've got your Savannah gray brick, which is awesome. That's a real Southern classic brick look. This is pretty cool. And you've got this room over here, which they have used for air conditioned storage but it could be a little office. It could be a wine room. It could be whatever you want it to be. They did put a, uh, a door, solid door here. So that gives them a better opportunity to make it into, um, you know, into a, a storage area. So let's start out with the less attractive stuff here. Utility room on the end here. It does have a slop sink, washer and dryer, cabinets above, your breaker box back here as well. Then we'll back up and look at the powder room. Nice cabinet, nice quartz countertop there, elongated toilet comfort heights on everything. And let's head on into the kitchen. You got your refrigerator and your cabinets above. To the right is a little pantry storage area. That's not the main pantry. Then you have your porcelain sink. Nice plumbing fixtures there. No disposal here. Stainless steel appliances, you got your double oven, your microwave down built into the cabinet style, and gas. It's, I'm sure there's a propane tank out back, it's on the side underneath the house somewhere. And then you've got your nice little cabinets above with the vent going up, pendant lights, nice chandelier over the dining room area, plantation shutters overlooking the view, but this is what's really kind of cool. This little barn door over here on the left. Again, really super shabby chic. They found that old door, but surprise, here's underneath the stairs is a nice size pantry. Here's the light here. And the wood floor is everywhere on the first floor. The carpet goes upstairs only, and not even on the first three steps. We'll see that in a minute. So good size pantries, that one and this one. And now we'll take a look at the front door. So you walk in, you're right in the house. It's not a big foyer or anything, but there is a little sense of a foyer. Everything's kind of broken up. This brick is different, but you can see it has the old style sloppy mortar look as your backsplash. Okay, it's probably half brick units. 
Let's see. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, you know, cut apart there. Now, before I go into the living room, which goes over this way, you do have a bedroom over to the left. You can see the porch out back and then stairs going down. You get a little sneak preview and then the living room's over here. But I want to go back to the front and come in the way your guest might come in, possibly. Because this is a really nice, nice look. Pardon the bounciness and feel free to freeze the picture. If you're watching it on TV or something, doing an airdrop or whatever, feel free to freeze it. Zoom in on different things if you want to look at different things. But it's got a real craftsy feel to it overall. <laughs> Interesting. That's a good use of those $2 bills. And then this is the only door out to the back porch. So you see how this leads out into the breakfast and dining area. And then to the kitchen with a nice counter. You got your quartz countertop here and there's a kitchen in a different view point. So let's head out on the back porch. And again, this house was only, it's only three years old, but they built it and gave it a look. It makes it feel like it's been here for 40 years, but it's pretty solid. It's the, the reclaimed wood that's on the floors inside are a little bit up and down in certain spots, a little lumpy, but I think they did that by design. Laid, laid them in there. But you see a big, they cleared out a lot of stuff back here and way in the back behind those trees and where the bushes start to get thick. It seems like there's lowland wetlands there where it's kind of open. And I don't know what this little cover is. And this is the side yard. And that's probably the septic field over there with the mounding. Let's walk over here. And you'll see the windows that lead into the bedroom that's on the main level here. You do have power, you do have a fan, they have their grill out here, so that's all nice. More power, plugs, more fans, and the plantation shutters are really, really nice. So it's got all the nice features that most people would want. I'll get that door in a minute. I need two hands to get that. And we'll look at this first bedroom. So they got a little red paint on this one. They reclaimed all this and some of it, they just threw it in here. It's really cool. All right. Again, plantation shutters everywhere. Nine foot ceilings. This looks like a, looks like a double bed, but a queen could fit in here easily. I don't know, a king you'd have the nightstand going back over there, but it could fit and you'd, I'd probably want to move that uh, dresser so you'd have room to get over into this. Okay, then you have walk-in closet here. Get the light on. So with nice built-ins, so that's well done. And then you have a private bath here. So you got your shower. Obviously they're not here. At least not using this one. So a full bath. And then you've got this tub combo with a little handheld for like a shower too. So one of those inserts you see on TV, I presume. And you've got a little vanity here, one sink. So. That's nice. It's great for the first floor. And here's a view of the side yard on this side of the home. If I were in the front of the house, this is the left side of the home. And it's got a nice little chandelier. And you can see there's plenty of room to put a king bed in here if you wanted to, but the nightstand is gonna be 
tight and this uh, this chest of drawers would be really tight because if this is a double bed, that's four feet, six inches. So it's two more feet. So you got, so two more feet would come to right here. So you'd have no room to get by. This chest would have to go. And the nightstand would probably fit into the corner. You'd have to figure out where to put the dresser. So it's a little tight for that. You might have to come up with some new concept here. Uh, they've got the recliner in here as well. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a view on this room. And we'll head upstairs next.